Previously on Selling Zatara. We completed the installation of 1400 watts of solar power and set off for a 370 mile sail to Mallorca, Spain. <laughs> I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They told us off the line but I just let it flow away spent the last six months cruising the Mediterranean. From Turkey to Greece to Italy to France to Spain, we've sailed nearly 2,000 miles. Our plan is to spend some time in Gibraltar before heading out into the Atlantic for the big crossing. My name's Aubrey. Uh, I'm the owner of Duratech Rope. Uh, what we do here is we custom lines and repair resheathed lines. Uh, Keith, at the moment here we have your lines. Okay. A lot of these lines have been subjected to cruising and not under extreme loads. Right. So they've been sitting on your deck in the storms, in the dust, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip the covers, examine the core. Okay. Here we have one of your lines. It's a ve Vectran core and still very, very, condi very good condition. So instead of selling you a new line, I'm just going to recover this line for you. Uh, the process is, you select the color of choice that you want. Okay. We then come to these machines and we load them up with the color selection okay. and the, the volume of material for each desired dimension of strand for each right. type of rope. And then we twist it together on the, these machines onto these big bobbins. Right. Then from these big bobbins, we take them to the winders and we wind them onto the small uh, bobbins that fit onto the braiding machines. I see. And then we braid your lines. At the same time, we'll put in the splices the hard way and that's it. We got new lines, we got them all resheathed. We showed you that at the factory, and so now I'm just taking the spare lines that I've used to kind of Mickey Mouse this thing together and put them back in, put the good lines back in, the new halyards back in. I've already put the new reefing lines in, the new uh, traveler lines in, and the new, uh, the new uh, main sheet in. But actually, those weren't new. The only new, brand new Dyneema lines I've got is the this blue uh, halyard for the spinnaker and the black halyard for the the main sheet and I both the old halyards that were on here were both Dyneema and so I had him resheath those so I got basically a backup to my new ones and it was cheap enough to, to resheath those it was like the cost of uh, buying a polyline so it worked out really good if you're in Palma Spain check out Duratech lines Aubrey at Duratech lines uh, Renee will put the information in the corner and he's a really good guy honest guy honest broker Feels so satisfying. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Isn't that good? Oh, that's goodness. It's all goodness right there. <laughs> Coming out of the hole, going back down in. It's all good right there. <laughs> we really enjoyed Palma, especially the American food we found. And we hung out with some new friends and some old friends before setting sail to Gibraltar.
there guys we're out here in the ocean off the coast of Spain making our way to the Gibraltar the Gibraltar the rock of Gibraltar rock. six two I took the main down we're actually doing a little better there how fast are we going six two what kind of wind we got 19 18 I'm gonna leave it like that lots of apparent wind what oh hi All right, guys, we are about 268 miles from Lalinia, Spain, or Gibraltar, same place. And we are motor sailing right now because there's no wind. We've got a short weather window, so we're trying to get there. Y'all be quiet! Y'all be quiet! Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're motoring. we got about two nights left. Tonight, tomorrow night, we should be there. Unless we pull into uh, Cartagena because there's supposed to be a chance of the wind still blowing in from the west. I don't know if we can get any more paper sounds in the background, but we'll try. <laughs> I don't know. Can't live with them, can't kill them. <laughs> Chili in the pot here, warming up, and some hot dogs, and they're gonna boil soon. And we're out of buns, so I guess we're gonna have bread. Yes, yeah. sir. There you oh. are, sir. <coughs> wow. Jack, you want a hot dog? I'm okay. There right. you go. I hope it's a Dorado. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. Right. Oh, what is it? What is it? Tuna. Are you gonna keep it? Yeah, it's too big not to keep. <laughs> no, no, no. You just keep it going. Keep it on autopilot. It's huge. Check it out, this just in case. Actually, that's a, that's a wahoo. All right, all right, uh, yeah, yeah, I need, yeah, before I lose him. Right there. Go right in there. Right in the field. Yeah, outside, on the side. Right there. Get in there. There you go. Hold him. Yeah! Hold him. Hold him right there. Follow neutral in the boat. You need to just get it just like that, don't you? Take this tight around that cleat back there. That would be kind of productive. You got him. Oh, look at that. There you go, there. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we got it. We got a fish. We got a big fish. Yeah, okay, let it go. Let it go. Let's all jack let it down. Oh, I see, 
Turns that off. <laughs> Alright, well, let me watch that. Yeah. I didn't do that good a job on this one, but... You know what you need to do? Hey, I was the Look at that! Let's watch this down. I ate sushi. I have eaten some of this before. That's disgusting. You're it's not dinner. that bad. Do you like chewy raw fish getting stuck between your teeth? It just doesn't taste like anything. It really doesn't. It's, it's just juicy is what it is. Who yeah, wants to eat some sushi? Ew, Ew. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, chew that up. Wow. Okay, going for that second bite now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is clean. Let's try, Dad. That's a good piece. So we roughly filleted a, I think it was a tuna or a mackerel or a king, king. Maybe it was king something. But anyway, it wasn't the prettiest job I've done on a fish. It's been a year over a year since I've filleted anything. It's at night, it's dark. Alright, here. Where's my hand over here? I started up here in Palma. And we're heading down. We sailed around this island to uh, Ibiza, even though it doesn't say Ibiza. Why does it say Ibiza? Maybe that's Spanish for Ibiza. And now we're headed down here. Uh, Cartagena, looks like we're pretty close. Is that where we're going, Cartagena? No, we're going all the way to Gibraltar. We're just going around. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, we're going around. Right I was going to stop at Cartagena if the weather turned nasty. Yeah. in Spain. We're headed to Gibraltar. We got some foul weather coming our way. We're trying to uh, get around this cape down here. I don't know what cape it is. Right before we turn and head totally west. And uh, we should hit the weather window early. So this is what we're trying to get around. And then the weather builds out here to 30, 40 knots tomorrow. Yeah. But we should be ahead of it and just coasting down here. It's supposed to be a nice area in here where we can seek shelter as we get to Gibraltar. So how far is it to Gibraltar? 202 miles or is that? Yeah, that's right. 200 miles. Yeah. We average, what'd you say, about 150 a day? Yeah, yeah. Depending on the weather? Yeah. 70 knots of parent wind. So this is our life, pretty much, in a nutshell. It's basically how it goes down. Going it's from place to place and... Never being satisfied. Never being satisfied. <laughs> so, Anna, a lot of people are confused and think that you're going to go to Harvard. Why don't you clear that up? That video was posted yesterday, which was really two weeks ago, <laughs> or... Some kind of weird. Anyways, I got like eight different messages from like 12 different people, which doesn't make sense. And they were like, are you really going to Harvard? Wow! And I was like, no, I'm not going to Harvard. It was a joke. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm not going to Harvard. Why would you think that? You not watched me in these videos? It was 
joke. Commu- they're going to a community college on Harvard Street. Yeah, and when you have to explain your jokes. And that's not yeah, being a joke. Obviously, not, uh, a lot of people didn't get into Harvard as well that are watching our YouTube videos. <laughs> Yeah, from, uh, you know, but I agree with all you guys about the uh, brainwashing that's going on at our universities these days. Hey, I'm a 7.6 GPA. I'm a 2 IQ. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, it's 2. I have 2 IQ. Anna is interested in going to college. Maybe, if I even know what I want to do. What do you want to do? I don't know what I want to do. Play video games? Yes, forever. Yeah, I play some Undertale. Hey, that's like a money making yeah, career. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's like a big thing now. Maybe I'll just like luck out. Yeah, I don't know. Stay on the boat. Thanks. It's cheap. Watching Captain America playing cards, and I'm on watch too, by the way. Oh, okay. Dad's out there. That's copyrighted. That's copyrighted. He just walked out there. Oh, I didn't see him. Margaret Carter was announced to most disappointed. Um, four. It's my crap. I don't like cards. I never take them. I'm gonna go for it. Where are you going? It's your turn. It's your turn, Kate. I'll do my apple last. Aunt Peggy. I am texting Miss Susan from Wizboat. You know, they're so close, you could probably go stand on a sugar stick and yell. Yeah. No, they're oh, way over there. there. Hey, it was an exaggeration. Okay. Oh, I'll take that No one wants The Wiz. I don't know you can see them, but they're way over there. We've got land all around us. And we're just cruising along. Jelly sandwich for Kate. Uh, I make the, I cook the pepperoni a little bit first so that it's nice and crispy. And then we have <laughs> a little bit of. That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> no. Woo, there we go. And I put some mozzarella and cheese and some uh, spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce on it. Toast it. My little, my favorite <laughs> little grill here. And voila, you have a pizza sandwich. Pizza sandwich. (laughs) You love my pizza sandwiches. I love very much. They're very good. Look at that sandwich. It's like melting cheese Uh deliciously. Uh Your sandwich is ready. Did you catch a fish? Does it look like there's a fish on that lure? It looks like there's a fish on that lure. Does it look fish. like there's a fish on that lure? There's fixing to be another big fish on the lure. <laughs> it's like far cry all day, guys. Oh. Shut up. Okay. Hey, I'm going to go get a fish. Hey, I'm going to go get a fish. Hey, I'm going to go to the master suite and see what the captain is doing. Captain, what you doing? Video game. Watching a movie. We're watching. The Dark Crystal. Oh, I boy. never agreed to. The, I never agreed to this. It's like a 80s movie. Yep. I never. I never agreed. To okay. We had the motor on for about six hours. We rounded the cape. We're just waiting for the winds to fill in, which they should here in the next two to three hours. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Fish in one. No, Finn said that one's gone. Jack, roll into the headlights. 
I call this thing Dad's Crotch Rocket. Uh-huh. I was just editing video about our fish we caught. How? We had two fish. <laughs> we did, but we lost one. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you hit both of them. Oh, yeah, one fish on both Two fish? Oh, gosh, my freezer's too full. Two fish? Woo! Right, here we go. Oh, what about the two two one. one. It is. I hope I get you one. Well, there's no place to put that. I couldn't reel this fish in if I didn't have that. Blue fin! Oh, that's a good one. Uh, we'll have to keep that one. Alright. Okay, Anna, slow down now. Slow down now. Slow down. Alright, gaff and rope. Yeah. Gaff and rope. We got the spinnaker back out and now it's time to go chop the fish up. One last Ziploc bag that we have. It'll be time for a cookout when we get to where we're going. I had to wash my hands so much. It was terrible. Washing our dirty, fishy. What are they? Dishes. Dishes? Spots. Pans. Yes. Yeah, but isn't there like a fancy name for it? No. And I missed Whoa. the foot pump that we had. I know. It we had a lot of water like foot this. Foot pump on another on the old boat, and now we don't, and we have these dumb bucket sinks. So really. This whole kitchen was not efficiently designed. Really not. I don't like the round sinks. I'm going to scrub this, not put it in the dishwasher. You're doing so good. Just for you. You are an example to teenagers everywhere of how to do chores and not complain. Yeah, she turned the camera on after the complaining. <laughs> after the, Anna, get down here and do your chores! <laughs> so, are you ready for a night shift? I don't like nice shifts. It's not that I don't like them, I'd just rather be sleeping. <laughs> you can go to bed. I can? I got this, babe. Alright. I'll wake you up if anything happens. Okay. Oh, my mia. You get a 
shift in a little while. I do have a shift you in a little while. You need to go to bed. I probably should. Probably should. She's talking about the anchor of her life. And I'm that man. No. I'm the anchor no. that has weighed her down. <laughs> And kept her from swimming free all our days. Hey, you know what you should do? We're at Gibraltar. This is the last few moments of the last passage of the Mediterranean for us. And we like are done. We have completed a year, almost a year in the Med. Not really. A year. You uh, can't count. Fe February. Uh, March. It's been like six months. February March to now, October. Like nine months. Not February. You just went to Greece in February. You weren't on a boat. Yeah, we didn't actually. Yeah, but I was on a boat in February. Anyway, and that's cool. Tune in next time as we explore Gibraltar and get ready for our big sail to the Canary Islands.